Uh, you have said you are an ambassador for books. Uh, what does that mean? I don't know that I've ever called myself that, but I feel like... Um, we like to call you that. <laughs> well, when I started um, just about a year ago, um, immediately there was a lot of visibility around the job and the fact that I was black, that I was a woman, that I was younger than my predecessors had been um, when they took the job. And, and, and I think that it was really energizing for everyone to sort of see that there was like an opening up and a change at the National Book Foundation. And so I think because there was so much energy, it felt like a really good um, opportunity to use the platform that we were receiving to just try and change the conversation about books. Um, what we do, the primary function of the National Book Foundation is to present the National Book Award, which is about excellence. It's about the best books that are published in America. Um, and that's not about all books. That's about a very specific set of books. But in order to get people to care about that night in the middle of November and about the 20 books that we honor and the four books that win, there has to be like a strong and robust and excited um, generation or population of people who care about books at large. So we had to start by saying like, you're invited. Um, books are amazing. And I think that because I love books and they're a huge part of my life and always have been and I'm just like so blown away by like every author <laughs> that I get to spend time with in this role, I think trying to share some of that enthusiasm and um, remind people that like I'm not special, I'm just a person who likes books and that we can all be that person and, and that it makes my life better and I think maybe it'll make other people's lives brighter and happier and smarter and bigger. Um, that it was like just a good opportunity to say, come on, like, come join me. Um, and that, I guess, turns into ambassador for books. But I just believe in them. I don't think we're dying. I don't think it's bad. I think it's actually like a wonderful, thriving world full of writers and readers and booksellers and librarians, and, and we're doing just fine. And so I think saying that has been... Can you give me a sense of, uh, it's February. What has what your year looked like so far? So, um, I've been traveling around a lot, and I think that one of the things is that we're the National Book Foundation, and early on I made a joke that we're not the like Inside Baseball Foundation, and so that means actually showing up in California or Mississippi or Minnesota or any place where readers are. So there's been a lot of travel, but the beginning of the year is actually when I try to convince a lot of very fancy writers um, to, for very little money and almost no thanks, to read hundreds of books and decide what the National Book Award is. So I'm picking judges. So um, Harold Augenbrom, who's my predecessor, called me the other day and he was like, oh, so this is why I'm a tough person because every year all of my heroes look at me and tell me hell no when I ask them to be a judge for the National Book Award. Um, hey guys, how are you? <laughs> Um, I'm not done yet. I still have four or five slots to go. Um, so that's what is happening now. But I'm also thinking about the awards and then we also do other stuff besides the National Book Awards. So we just announced a program where we're going to be giving away, thanks to several large publishers, 300,000 books. Um, and so we're getting ready to make that project happen and getting ready for the year. So there's just all kinds of like build up and our audit. That's my favorite part. <laughs> I've been, um, we, every year nonprofits get audited and a person comes into your office and you pay them a lot of money to come and harass you for a week and ask you for like tiny pieces of paper that were surely lost. And so that's been a part of my 2017. 